Okay, great. So, uh, just a, to tube a, a goat's very useful procedure on the farm, and so we're going to show you how to do it, and it's very simple. Um, tubing, okay, you've got a tubing of the goat looking at about the thickness of your finger, all right, and now lengthwise what we'll do is we'll measure from the last rib, okay, up to its mouth, and then you'll just get a cokey pen or a pen, and you just mark this, okay, so you know how deep it's to go. Right, you've got a system that's just going to hold the base of the horn, okay, if you need to be, and support you. Right, so you just pop your fingers into the mouth, just at the top of the tongue, and then just pass it over your finger, and okay, down the back of the throat, and the goat, you just pass gently, move it back and forward, the goat will swallow, and you'll see it moving down the left or the right side. Yeah, okay, so basically, what you can see, we'll see it moving, okay, I don't know if you can see that moving, but you... You'll see it moving down the esophagus and you'll pass it down, keep passing down until we get to our mark. And there we are at our mark. Okay, so I've got that. Now your assistant will. Uh, all right, sorry, we go. There we go. All right. So he's going to put some clear water in. The reason for this is just to check that there's absolutely 100% sure you are in the, and uh, not in the, in the lung. So just a little bit. If it was, mm. you know, the goat would cough. Okay, there's our girl. Good girl. All right, now in this case, we're just putting a bit of Rumex in. So we're just going to. Pour that in. Okay, we'll just do that slowly and we hold that up. I can hold that for you. You can pour. There's a good girl. All right. If the goat is chewing the pipe, you can put this inside another pipe, which prevents the chewing, but this goat's ill, it's not doing much. Okay, and then once you've um, tubed it all. Okay, that would be nice, thank you. And then when that's done, what you do is you just flush the pipe out with a bit of clear water again. Okay, so that when you pull the tube back, there's no remnants of material in there to aspirate into the lungs. And then when you pull it out, it's all out, you just bend the tube over and then gently just pull it out. Okay, there we go, well done. Yeah.